The only way that this makes any sense is if you've somehow never been a teenager or don't know any. With all that's going on in politics right now, with COVID regulations, with Biden, with Trump, with election recounts, why not try to slide something in between the cracks right now? It's as good of time as any. In Canada, it's lowering the age of voting to 16. Yes, Bill S-209 recently had its second reading in Canada, encouraging the country to lower its voting age to 16. Senator Mary Lou McFedrin, appointed by Justin Trudeau, says in between Call of Duty games or mimicking TikTok dances online, your teenager should have the opportunity to vote. She basically says you would have to be an idiot to think that a 16 year old isn't informed enough or responsible enough to be able to decide who runs the country. Besides the obvious, like eating Tide Pods and setting themselves on fire for social media clout, the senator has many great reasons why the youngsters should have the vote, starting with this. Lowering the voting age will increase voter turnout by providing young people the opportunity to vote for the first time. Whoa! Lowering the voting age will allow more people to vote? That's crazy talk! Here's another great direct quote from the senator. We believe 16 year olds are mature enough to drive a car, which is fundamentally a killing machine. We trust them to be behind the wheel and engage in an activity that is statistically one of the most dangerous acts in everyday life. Voting, driving, same thing, right? Also, one requires a test as well as a qualified adult to be with them at all times while they're doing it at 16. I'll give you a moment to guess if the suggestion of an aptitude test or parental consent was suggested in this bill. It's not in there. We believe that 16 year olds are mature enough to provide informed consent for sex and enter into a contract of marriage with the consent of their parents. We defer to the maturity of young people to know their bodies and to have the capacity to speak autonomously for what they do and do not want in pursuit of their health. 16 year olds can have sex and some people let their 16 year olds get married. Therefore, they should vote. That's a great argument. If you were thinking this is just about voting, surely there won't be any super social justice-y progressive elements to this bill. That's cute. When Canada became a confederation, the voting age was 21. At that time, only white men who owned property could vote. Women, indigenous peoples, black and other people of color, and members of certain religions were prevented from participating in the democratic process. Not letting 16 year olds is the same as sexism and racism, that's the argument they're going with here. I I can't believe it. What's going on? Clearly, there's no escape from this reasoning. The senator also goes into tons of anecdotes stating that all the teenagers, all the 16s and 17 year olds that she knows are smart enough to vote. Some critics argue that a 16 year old is not informed enough to cast a ballot. Well, the 16 and 17 year olds that I know, the 15, 16 and 17 year olds, and one 14 year old who have sent me their own research papers arguing in favor of my bill delivered papers to which I would happily have given a high grade as a university professor. The children that would be allowed to vote under my bill also agree with me that they should be allowed to vote. Okay, seriously, what is this? Now if you fast forward down to the summary and you don't want to read all that craziness, it pretty much sets everything up for you and gives you all you need to know about this. In summary, 16 and 17 year olds are already considered mature enough to navigate the responsibilities of joining the military, providing sexual consent, driving a car, paying taxes, getting married, and becoming parents. First of all, most of those are terrible decisions. Also, a 16 year old can only join the reserves, that's with parental consent, and a 17 year old also needs a parent's consent to join the military. And trust me, there's not a lot of them in there. The only part of that that makes any lick of sense is them paying taxes for a job that they have. Getting married or having kids at 16 is not a good example for a reason why 16 year olds should have the responsibility to vote. It's insane. In fact, marriages for those under 18 are considered child marriages and quote, is often associated with poor health and economic outcomes, particularly for girls. That's according to Canadian researchers. As well, according to worldatlas.com, not that many countries have a voting age below 18, but here they are. Nicaragua, Scotland, Isle of Man, Guernsey? 
<laughs> Ethiopia, Ecuador, Cuba, Brazil, and Austria all have voter ages of 16. The voting age is 17 in Sudan, South Sudan, North Korea, Indonesia, Greece, and East Timor. My advice to you is don't take your cues from countries you don't want to live in unless East Timor is really your beat. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button and go to IWillOpen.com if you or any businesses you know plan on opening in spite of COVID regulations and lockdowns.